Okay guys, so I'm uh, leaving work for a brief trip over to a uh, thrift store. I've got payment from my Obsidian, so it's time to go find something for six bucks that I can sell for more. And I think that's going to be easy to do. Uh, I've uh, often bought things from thrift stores that are worth far more than the price tag at the thrift store. So that's what we're going to go look for because I think that'll be the best way to increase my money right now. So let's go see what we can find. Incidentally, I do have a, another item that I will be listing later today that didn't cost me anything. So that will allow us to get a little bit more in our business kitty. And I was thinking of an analogy to share to kind of explain why it's so important to, um, to keep your money in the business to feed the business so that's something that I'm going to be talking about in fact I'll, I'll go ahead and mention it here while I'm at the stoplight uh, but uh, so think of planting a piece of mint okay the, the purpose behind planting mint might be to uh, to harvest the plant and uh, be able to use it for um, I don't know, making an, an infusion, an herbal infusion, herbal tea, or, uh, you know, to, to make something with it, to, to harvest the, the leaves. Well, if you plant a seed, and as soon as that seed starts growing, you get a few leaves, you know, let's say you get the first two leaves, and then you get a couple more leaves. Well, if you pick all of those leaves off of that plant, it dies. The, the leaves are what bring life to the plant. So before I harvest from that plant, I need to let it grow. I need to let it grow into more than one stem, perhaps. I need to let it grow into a plant that offers many different stems, many different pieces, so that there's so much that I can pull an entire section of that plant off and harvest it. That's the only time I want to harvest that plant when it's a new plant and it's the only one I have. Same kind of thing for our business here. I want to keep rolling my money back into the business until it's built to a point where if I want to make, let's say I want to pay myself $600 a month. Well, I need to have more than that $600. I need to have all my costs covered for my eBay fees, which might be two or $300 for that kind of uh, profit to be available and so I need to have that sitting there um, I need to have uh, money available to reinvest like I'm doing today if I don't leave some of that money or roll it back into the business the business dies before it ever gets a chance to to build so that's what, I, what I'm trying to show you here is roll it back in let it build the business if I find something here that's worth $30 that I can pick up for a buck, well, I'm gonna try and look for six of those things because I've got six dollars. And so if I can spend six dollars and have, I don't know, let's say 40 or 50 dollars worth of profit that comes out of that after the sales, well, that 50 dollars is gonna go back into the business. I'm not gonna eat my profits before I, I grow the business. I'm gonna put that back into the business and I'm gonna go invest fifty dollars into the business the next time so that's what you're going to be seeing as we go through this series is reinvesting into the business that's what you need to do so you can grow this into something that will then provide you an income all right so here we are I don't know how much filming I'm gonna do inside All right, so I ended up with a uh, box, a, a boot, not a box, 
a boot here. Air cast. So anyway, I think it's uh, it cost me three bucks. It's probably worth uh, 20 or 30 profit, maybe more. So I did not end up filming in the store, primarily because I use my eBay app while I am uh, in there looking at things. And so I wanted to be able to use that and can't do that and film at the same time but uh, I looked it up and there are boots like this going for hundreds of dollars with uh, everything they need and then there are some selling for 20 to 40 dollar range that uh, are just the boot so we'll see what I can do with it Okay guys, so I'm going to show you a little bit here about how to, uh, to research an item and, uh, and get it listed. So this is what I did with the boot while I was in the store. I actually did this search on my phone, but uh, I searched for the Aircast Medium uh, is what I searched. And so I saw these listings, $79.99, $74.99. And I thought, wow, that looks like a good item. You know, it's uh, uh, it's listed at um, listed at three dollars. Uh, you know, in the store there. Now, if you scroll down over here on the side, you can go to show only sold listings. This is one of the things I love about uh, eBay. Now, it's a little different on the phone, and uh, I tried to show you that. <laughs> I'm using my phone, but the recording system I have on there, I've got to figure it out. It saves in such a large format that uh, I can't seem to get it transferred over to my Dropbox now. So, at least not in a timely manner. But anyway, you can look at sold items, items that have already completed. And uh, this is the item that, that I listed, so you can see I'm, I'm doing this after the fact. But um, I saw, as I looked at sold items, I didn't see any that sold for that high $70, $80 price point. But I did see $35 and $28.99. Both of those notice they have free shipping. Uh, and then this one. But also notice these all come with the pump. Right? They all include the air pump. So I thought, all right, I don't have the air pump, so I'm going to list mine at $19.97 plus shipping. So I'll put the weight and dimensions in and they'll have the actual shipping. So if you want to do a little more research, you can look at active listings to see what everybody else is doing. So you can see there, I was actually placed pretty good. These guys had theirs at $26.27 um, plus shipping. This one had it at $40 with free shipping. And then this one was uh, $28 plus shipping. So I guess uh, that's... So another beautiful thing with eBay to get started with a listing so you know you're in the right category is you come over to that, you know, you do your search for the keywords and you come over to this show only and check uh, sold items and it'll automatically check completed. And then you're looking at items that have actually sold. And so then you just click sell one like this and it starts your listing for you. Okay. Now, I've already got this uh, um, pulled up here to show you, but uh, you can then redo whatever you need to in the title, make sure your title's as good as you can get it. So what I did here was I created a title with the keywords I thought were important. Um, I did the sale similar, and so I was using uh, something that people already had. They had my item number here, the brand, so it obviously is the same thing. I'm not sure what the XP stands for, but I left it in there. And so there's my title. And then I'm going to list uh, the UPC does not apply, listing it as used, and took the pictures uh, on my phone. Now this is the part that where I, I wanted to show you on the phone how to, to just upload those pictures through the eBay app on your phone. But um, my video I took is... Uh, uh, not uploading for me so 
just know that you can you can do that on the phone. Now, I like to start, I like to load the pictures on the phone, then save for later, save it, and then come back in and go to my drafts and refresh the page and, and uh, come in here. And then I can edit and I can crop, I can rotate if I need to, I can increase the uh, brightness and contrast, uh, and then save those so that I can get a nice clean photo and get rid of all that background noise. So I'll usually do that when I list. Put any of your uh, details in here for, for item specifics. Keep in mind the only thing that eBay is going to look at when they when you run a, a keyword search and they're pulling up results, the only thing they're looking at for those results is the title. So that's why it's so important to fill that title up as much as possible. I've only left two characters unused with relevant keywords. Don't just fill it up just to fill it up. Don't use stop words like and and with and, and that kind of stuff, but use valuable keywords that people will actually either search for or words that will help them understand what they're bidding on. So the no air pump um, was something I wanted to do here. All right, and then um, this is a, um, description that I have saved, all of this detail is something I have saved as my uh, template for all of my listings in a um, Google document and so I just copy and paste it over from the Google Doc and then I'll come up here and copy that title right there and then come down and just double click on this and paste over the top of that and there goes my title nice and neat and then all my other details are in here. I've put in on, on this one a little extra details, no air pump included, just the boot. So that's in the title, it's also in the uh, description so everybody knows exactly what they're getting. Since I don't have the pump, I figure, you know, I'll, I'll list it for $19.97 uh, and that's going to be the, um, the price that I'll, I'll list it for. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is ask for um, them to pay shipping. So I'm going to do calculated shipping, U.S. Uh, priority mail, USPS priority mail. Um, uh, weight, uh, I'm going to estimate three to four pounds on that, and then I put dimensions that <clears throat> will be a big enough box to, to cover me. And so that's all just estimated there. Uh, I weighed the uh, the actual boot uh, on a scale and then added a couple pounds uh, to cover myself for the box. We'll see how uh, close I am. And then all you gotta do is click list item and you're done. You've got the item listed. Let's see how much I can uh, make out of it. So I'm asking 1997. I paid three bucks for it. I still got $3 of my $6 profit that I need to go back and uh, and buy something with. So I'll show you what else I do um, in the next video. But we're going to turn $3 into 20 now. Then we'll take that and keep uh, expanding it and see where we can get. Holy cow, that was a surprise. Can you believe it? It sold within. Stay tuned for the next video to find out what it sold for and how quickly it sold. I was pretty excited about it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and be sure to click that bell so that you get updated when a new video comes.